Um, so as I just did with the FIQ um, blog, I just wanted to quickly show you our latest single blocks. So we started adding two uh, first Ino single blocks to the block directory. And the cool thing about the block directory is, um, I actually show you. So the cool thing about the block directory is that you can just search for any kind of block and install it right in the editor. I show that in a second. So um, as most of you probably know, we have the Ino blocks collection plugin. And now we added single blocks, which are a little bit more specific blocks that will grow over time. So they're just pretty basic at the moment. But um, so our first single blocks are an FAQ and a notification banner block. And we have a few more lined up that we will add as single blocks um, over the next weeks and month. And we will just then grow them from there. Um, so we added these ones as single blocks because not everyone needs an FAQ or a banner block. And um, it's just easier to install it as a single block. And then only people who really need this block can install and use it. And you can um, install it via the block directory. So I show you that. So I created an empty page and to install any block from the like single block from the directory, just go to the block inserter and uh, we are search, you can search for the block. So I search for I know FA uh, for I know notification and ignore that I have already installed the block. Just wait a second. Uh, you will find a list here um, with blocks to install. So if I don't put I know in front in my search, I see a few more lining up. So other people have created anything with alert or banner. So I can see here my I know notification block. So if you actually, um, you see that there's a star rating and we haven't received a star rating yet um, because we haven't, um, with just like a few, just a few days ago, we installed the plugin, but yeah, you can just click on the plugin and install it. Since I already have my plugin installed, nothing happens, but instead um, I get my first uh, banner here already included. So let me delete that quickly. So once you install the plugin, you um, can just search for it again if it doesn't show up automatically. So I include it and that's the default setting um, that is included. Um, so the main thing we did for this first version of this blog is um, you can choose between different options here. So the first one is just like a welcome message and you can write um, your message or any anything you want to have in your banner. And it can also include a link, like a text link at the moment. We probably will add um, a button option later on. So you can also have a button if it's like something more important you want to link to. So let me just show the text link. It can also be multi-line, of course. So you just it's just the default paragraph box, so you can add your text links there. And then let's go on the block settings here to the options. Oh, I need to make that uppercase. Um, so obviously this is just number one, like the first version of the block. So bear with us. It's just the beginning. So we actually just wanted to try out to include single blocks to the block directory because it's such a cool way to install these blocks and just have the blocks available if you really need. And th this will grow uh, further too. I think I can imagine in the future that people, um, like in a theme, you can have certain blocks pre-installed that you need for the theme or even per pattern or page template. So um, it's just a cool way. So here in the block settings, you have the different statuses you can use. And we kind of pre-designed it with a color and an icon. So you have help, success, warning, and arrow. And we have default colors, but you can um, also um, customize that. And then you can have it as a, a full width banner. 
just default banner in a post or something. I show you the pre the preview. So this is just the wide width. Uh, I can just duplicate that to show you the different full width. And I duplicate it again for the standard width. Easier to show you on the front end. So yeah, just the default content width, full width. Um, this one obviously makes sense in the bottom or the top. So you could um, go ahead and edit, add this um, block to your header via the site editor, which is a cool feature. I'm probably gonna make an extra tutorial just to show that. Um, since it doesn't look so great, I just delete these options. Or maybe I stick with the wide width. So um, you have your status here that you can select. And then you can hide the close button if you don't want to have a close button. You want to show the um, notification like always. Then you can hide the icon. And you can, if you have the icon there, you can choose between icon style, outline, or fill. Then you have the border option. You can have only a top border, bottom, right or left border, and then you can change the border width. Um, I think pretty common is to have a left side border, like a little bit thicker one. Um, I've seen that quite a lot. And you could add, if you have like a full border and then just a one pixel width, you can have a border, um, a border radius, like a small one. If it's like not a wide width, just in your, maybe in the top of your post, you want to add something, like you updated a post or something and want to add that. Um, so that um, is another setting. Then you can change the spacing of all sides if you want to have like a wider space we added the default spacing um, so you can have like no space that doesn't make sense but you could so i will add some spacing and what else can you do um, you can customize your colors. So by default for the different styles, we added colors, but you can totally customize your color as well. If you want to have it um, different, you can change the icon color, the background color, the border color, and then the text color. So you can totally play around with that. Go um, for it. You can see it better if I do, um, if I do it here with the filled icon and you can customize your border color as well. So you can totally customize your colors um, and ignore the defaults we added. And if you want to add your text color, because it's a paragraph block, you have to go to your um, settings here and customize the color. There you can also change the font size. If you want to have a bigger font size, you can have that. And um, you can also add something bold or italic if you want to. Uh, so this is just the default paragraph settings. Uh, so at the moment, that's all the settings we have. So it's pretty cool. You can customize um, kind of everything. And that's, as I said, just the beginning of this blog. Um, we already had quite a lot of fun just creating these default settings, but um, yeah, as um, I said we will add um, maybe custom color, a uh, custom icon option and a button option and um, all kinds of fancy things like that. But I hope you like the current settings and um, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have any kind of um, feature request or questions, just ask away. Uh, I'm happy to hear for you from you. Uh, thanks so much for watching. See you. Bye.